Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and welcome to another episode in our PC Masterclass series. Now today we're going to talk about defragmentation. I feel like I should be wearing a lab coat as I say that. Sounds pretty cool, but it is something that can be quite important and pivotal to a system. Now the first caveat that I want to go through is that SSDs or solid state drives do not need defragmenting. So I just wanted to get that out of the way quickly. That being said, defragmenting or defragging can be especially useful on HDDs or hard disk drives because they can actually improve the longevity and also the performance of the drive. In very simple terms, as you read and write data to a disk, it gets split into chunks and shuffled all over the place to end up in a huge messy jumble. This increases the time taken to access the relevant data as and when you need it. Defragmenting goes through your disk and puts all of those chunks of data into a nice, neat, easily accessible order. To defragment our own drive, we can simply click in our start menu search bar and type defragment. This will show defragment and optimize drives in the search results. We can also get this by visiting the Windows control panel and selecting administrative tools and then defragment and optimize drives from the resulting list of applications. Or if your control panel is in category view, select system and security, scroll down and then select defragment and optimize your drives under the administrative tools heading. You can also simply select a drive in Windows Explorer or My Computer, right click, click properties, and then go to the tools tab and click optimize under optimize and defragment drive. Whichever method you choose, you'll reach the defragmentation screen. In here, you can select the relevant drive and start the defrag process with a simple click on optimize. You can use the analyze feature beforehand to determine if a defrag is necessary, but ideally you will want to defrag any drives that are fragmented beyond about 10%, though this is a matter of opinion. Some people like to do it at 5% fragmentation, so that process doesn't take as long each time. Make sure you temporarily disable any power saving options that might put the computer to sleep or put it into standby during the process, as this process can take several hours at least. So there you go, after you wait a little while, you will find that your hard drive is completely ordered, all nice and neat, a bit like having little boxes all nicely, neatly kind of set aside together. If only someone could do that in my office and my studio. I mean, that would be a nice thing. If you enjoyed this video and it has helped you out, remember to click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and also comment below and let us know, did this video help you? Would you like to sort of see more PC Masterclass videos? If you do, we will continue to carry on doing them. Other than that, hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. See you later.